and welcome to a pick a card reading for the month of August. Hi, welcome. My name's Francisca, and I make these pick a card videos. I also work full time as a psychic. This reading is for the month of August, and if you haven't already, please pick row one, two, or three, and we'll get started with this reading. Okay, so if you've picked row one, we'll start the month with the fall, which is, yeah, not about being foolish, it's about a state of innocence, excitement, new beginnings, a fresh start for you and it's important that you stay optimistic and open to this fresh start so it can really take a hold in your life um yeah it's it's about having trust and uh, the innocence isn't about being naive it's just about that state of innocence that children have to the new that openness because they haven't had a whole lot of bad experiences yet <laughs> and maintaining that kind of level of openness to what's happening in your life and to the new beginning that's coming into your life now. Um, Mid-month we're looking at the Knight of Cups. This can be a really strong romantic card, you know, it can indicate that your relationship is going to the next level or there's a new relationship coming into your life. It's a very, very good and positive and loving and kind, strong, romantic connection. Um, yeah, it, it basically means somebody's very genuine in their feelings about you if it's relating to relationship. If it's not relating to relationship, it's more about um, creativity and really using your creativity for yourself and also about romancing yourself you know if you're single if there's nobody around you and you either don't want to be with somebody or nobody's turned up you know do those nice things for yourself that <laughs> you know you'd like somebody else to do take yourself out for dinner um, treat yourself be kind and loving to yourself the whole energy around the Knight of Cups is about this gentleness, creativity, expression, genuine love and genuine kindness. So yeah, it looks really good for relationships for you or for your relationship with it with yourself. So yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful influence. Okay, so as we head towards the end of the month, we've got the Page of Swords, which is a little bit of a cautious influence. It's like you sort of standing there and looking at all your options at all the different possibilities ahead of you and you're thinking about them and that's okay you know limbo gets a bad name but sometimes we need to stop sometimes we need to consider things sometimes we need to take a breath this is saying you're being a little bit cautious about something in your life and that that's for a reason so don't beat yourself up if you're thinking oh I'm being too wishy-washy or too cautious for some reason, it's the right thing for you to do right now, but don't get stuck there, you know, don't get stuck in, in being too cautious or too careful, um, but do allow yourself to do that, you know, <laughs> We our lives move really, really fast these days, and sometimes we can feel a bit overwhelmed or like we've been bowled over and the events in our lives are moving so fast that it's actually good for us to go, hang on a minute, I need to take a deep breath. And I need to think about this and I need to, um, yeah, contemplate all my options before I take the next step. So, yeah, end of the month is not the time to jump into anything or rush into anything. Allow that time to pass by and I feel by September you'll be really sure about what you want to do and back to taking action. So, yeah, it's quite an interesting month for you. Um, definitely new beginnings, a lot of feelings and a lot of <laughs> emotion is indicated but also caution so it's actually quite balanced you know you're not the fool you're not jumping off a cliff you're, you're actually taking a balanced approach and that's a good thing so okay so if you've picked row two you've got the high priestess and the high priestess is basically saying um Trust your intuition, trust your instincts, your intuition's got some really strong and loud messages for you at the beginning of this month. 
that's a really really clear and strong um, intuitive input you're getting so pay attention to that take some time for yourself take some time to listen to that we don't tend to really hear our intuition if we're rushing around so you you know go for walks sit in the garden whatever works for you and and really pay attention to that intuition because it's got a very very strong message for you this month so and you need to hear it um it's it's a very strong spiritual state of being I feel because you've got the Hierophant at the middle of the month and that's about um, strength in your spiritual views, um, doing what's right, it's about not moral but you know knowing what's right from wrong and you do and you're going to make the right choices so trust yourself, trust your own intuition, trust your inner guidance, it's on the right track um, it's also saying you may be able to offer intuitive guidance to somebody else around you. Um, you're stepping into the realm of being able to advise others, to guide others. So yeah, it's, it's a really beautiful um, influence of that. But you trust your own feelings, your own intuition about what's right and wrong. If somebody's trying to push something at you and it feels wrong, or there are things going on around you that feel wrong... Um, yeah then trust that um, you've got that spot on and you don't need to second guess what you're feeling okay end of the month we've got the three of wands so we're looking at the future <laughs> very much at the future and where you're going so you've gone through this whole really kind of strong spiritual time during the month and by the end of the month you're actually feeling very clear about your decisions about what you're doing about where you're going and what you want to do and this can be about your career your direction your path it can indicate a journey but mostly in most cases it's about your path direction career your purpose where you want to take that and there's a new beginning coming with that and you're starting something new in the coming months and this is the time of looking at that planning that and getting very very clear about what you want to do so you might have a career change coming or a new direction or a small business there's something new showing up for row twos anyway so yeah and it's very strongly guided very strongly spiritually guided for you okay so if you've picked row three we're looking here at temperance at we're starting the month with a state of balance. It's really important that you stay balanced. Don't get so busy that you don't have time to breathe. Don't get so busy that you don't have a chance to do the things you want to do. This is about balancing what you have to do with what you want to do. Everybody needs balance. If all you're doing is do, doing and doing for others or working, or putting your energy out there it's important you start pulling some energy back in there and that happens easiest when we do things we enjoy like for me it's running around with this camera <laughs> I'm using to film this video right now and taking photos of nature and things like that you know that's how I really enhance and build up my energy and bring it back up so whatever works for you make sure you spend some time doing it whether it's being creative going for a walk having an adventure put some energy back into yourself don't just keep giving out and out and out okay okay mid-month we've got some learning we've got the page of pentacles which is about something new you're learning. So it might be a new interest or a new hobby because this is quite a strong message to do something for you. And having this learning influence straight after is really saying there might be a new interest or a new hobby or something you're studying or learning or wanting to learn and that the time is now. So if there's something you're really interested in, something you've been really wanting to do or learn or become better at or wanting to practice then this is the time this month to start doing that you know so if you yeah if there's something out there you're wanting to create or learn or <clears throat> get involved in or start yeah it's time to allow yourself to do that you know there's always going to be things you have to do <clears throat> the dishes is always going to continue to pile up 
<laughs> and things like that. The floor is going to get dirty. The lawns are going to need cutting. But this is about making that time to get into, to study, to learn, to create something new. And yeah, it's going to be really, really rewarding for you if you do. And it's going to give you some new skills. So you've got the Knight of Swords. It's actually going to bring up your confidence if you do this, if you start putting more into yourself and doing things you actually enjoy and they make you feel good. It's going to bring up your confidence. And by the end of the month, you're in a really, really good position to start pushing forwards um, into your next steps, into your next goals, into your next beginning. It's time for something new. It's time for a new beginning. That could be a new career. It could be a new direction. It could be something more spiritual or creative but it's definitely time to take action by the end of the month and things are going to happen quite quickly if you do so by the end of the month you're feeling confident you're feeling good about what you're doing you're feeling good about yourself and you've got a lot of energy so it's the time to make things happen so yeah it's an interesting time and it's a time of focusing on your own goals on your own direction on your own path really rather than what you have to do <laughs> so that's a message for row threes focus on what you want to do and balance it with what you have to do okay so if you enjoyed this please give this video a like and subscribe it definitely makes a difference in the youtube algorithm um i want to wish you a wonderful month for august um spring is coming here in new zealand soon <laughs> so that'll be wonderful and lots and lots of love to you all and I'll see you all next time.